Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how we can handle basic file detection using Python. This topic is the first of many involving a mini-series on file handling using Python. First, we'll need to cover file detection before we read and write files. To work with files using Python, we will import the OS module. OS means operating system. This module provides a way for Python programs to interact with the operating system. Be sure to import the OS module at the top. For my demonstration within my project folder, I'm going to create a new file. New file. I will name this file test, and this will be a plain text file. It will have the file extension of txt. This file really doesn't need to say anything. I'm just going to type, I like pizza, because I do. The context doesn't matter. We're not going to be reading files in this video. For convenience, I'm going to assign a variable of file path. This will be a string. For file detection, we can either use a relative file path or an absolute file path. We'll cover relative file paths first. These two files are right next to each other, my main Python file and my test file. If we're using a relative file path, I only need the file name, including the extension, test.txt. We'll be passing in the string of file path as an argument. To check to see if this file exists, I will use an if statement. If access the OS module, access the path, there is a built-in method of exists. We'll pass in our file path as the argument. This method returns a Boolean value of true or false if this file exists. So if this file does exist, test.txt, let's print the following. I'll use an F string. The location, I'll add a placeholder, exists. I will place my file path within that placeholder. And I'll surround it with single quotes to make it look nice. If this method returns true, do this. Else, we'll do something else. I will print that location doesn't exist. All right, let's see what happens. The location test.txt exists. Now, what if I get the extension wrong? Let's say that I'm looking for a PDF, but it's really a txt file. Well, that location doesn't exist. You do have to be sure to get the file extension correct. What if this file was in a folder? Within my Python project, I will create a new directory. I will name this directory stuff. Then I will place my test file within the stuff folder. PyCharm wants me to refactor my code because the location changed. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be sure that this box is unchecked and press refactor. We're using a relative file path. That test file is no longer next to my main Python file. Here's what happens. That location doesn't exist. With our relative file path, we'll have to navigate to our stuff folder, then find the test file. So preceding this file name, I will access the stuff folder, stuff slash the name of the file, test.txt. And now we can locate that file. The location stuff slash test exists. When working with relative file paths, you may need to open up a folder then find your file. You also could work with absolute file paths. So for this demonstration, on my desktop, I'm going to create a new file. New text document test. If I were to look at the properties, this is a txt file, a text document. I'm going to copy the location. Within my file path, I will paste it, then list the name of the file, test.txt. This is an absolute file path. One problem we're running into, when working with strings, a backslash does serve as an escape sequence. Python thinks we're trying to print a tab character. We can solve this with double backslashes, or we could use a forward slash. Either one works. All right, let's see if that file exists. That does. 
the location of that absolute file path does exist. If I were to get the extension wrong, let's say this is a PDF, well, that location doesn't exist. There is a built-in method of isFile to check to see if that file is in fact a file and not a directory. Let's add the following. After we detect this file, we'll write a nested if statement. If os.path.isFile, then pass in our file path as an argument. If this file is in fact a file and not a directory, I will print that is a file. The location of that absolute file path does exist. That is a file. What if it was a directory, a folder? I'm going to delete this, go to new, folder. I will name this folder test. To check to see if a location is a directory, let's add an else if statement. Else if os dot path dot is dir, meaning is directory. This is a method. We'll pass in our file path. If this is a directory, a folder, I will print that is a directory. Let's run this again. That location doesn't exist. Oh, we have to get rid of the file extension. It is not a plain text file. The location of that absolute file path exists. That is a directory, a folder. All right, everybody, that's basic file detection. In the next few videos, we're going to be reading and writing files. And well, everybody, that is basic file detection using Python.